Yes, yes. Good evening, fellow Groove Riders. Will from Will's Electrical Services. Welcome back to another episode of Electrician TV. Welcome to iPhone 13 Pro. This is soon cinematic bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, In tonight's episode, what we've got is we've got first fix, we've got second fix, we've got some testing tips, and we're showing you little bits and bobs. We've got loads of little jobs this week, and... Uh, I actually had Thursday off in the office, so there's nothing recorded there. So now we're doing it Friday to Friday, and it or something. I yeah. don't know. We're making up as we go along, right? Anyway, let's get into it. Bosh. Bosh. Bang! If you could do us a massive favour, right. bang! No, you don't have to say bang. <laughs> that's, that's just me saying. So. Just be natural, don't you? Not acting. Yeah, it's not. It's not home and away, guys. If you could do us a massive favour. If you can do us a massive favour, uh, like the channel, subscribe, and flip wheel thing. It helps the channel grow. It helps the channel grow. <laughs> it's Friday morning. It's Lena's first day, isn't it? it? Is. There's, old, there's old Jamie. Look, Jamie's sober now. <laughs> sober just about. <laughs> Wait, let me stick it. So, yeah, just these, please. Paul, for that job number, please, no mate. No problem, And then I've got a quote I've got to go through with you afterwards, yeah? Saucy. Let's yeah, so it. what tickets are you trying to get? More Arctic Monkeys tickets. So you're going to, you went, you went Liam Gallagher two days in a row. <laughs> Yes. That was at Nebworth though, wasn't it? I'm so. a fiend for these sorts of things, Will. Oh, I can only fiend. handle one day. But the first, I went on the unofficial fans day, didn't I? The extra day where the Saturday yeah, was yeah. the main day, wasn't it? I That's suppose. Friday was probably better, though, to be fair, for Gallagher, weren't it? Was actually? it? Yeah, you had Paul and Tini, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was so yeah. slaughtered, I can't remember. Paul. <laughs> Maybe it's North London derby. So who do you, what do you reckon the score is going to be? 3-2 Spurs. Hume Min Son, Harry Kane doing bits, as always. I've got to be honest, for the first time... In forever, I think I want Tottenham to win. I just don't. What? I just don't think I could deal with Oli next week. He just, oh, he just don't go on. And Epsis, obviously, Epsis is cool as anything with it, but oh, Oli would just go on forever. With the football as well. This is the first and only time we mentioned in the football this weekend. We yeah. It as much as we want. No. Yeah. He'd give it a right larger. Don't worry, Paul won't be wearing the Tottenham shirt this time. Paul, not doing yeah. a bit. I'll put a picture on that of uh, Paul. What was that? Why didn't he have to wear it? Because <laughs> we beat them at our place last year to guarantee top four almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, you absolutely smashed them, didn't you? Yeah, they were terrible. So just come to have a look at this job. This is a job we're starting for him CS on Monday. Nice little extension. Absolutely well smart, isn't it? I think I've done a call out of this house before they started it. Let's stay at this. Right. Yeah, they're just about to close at the end there. Yeah, sure no worries. So, that one's spare. That one's spare. Shall I move this chair out of there? That one's spare. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. Do you know what's really alarming? is that somebody is bypassed to make create extra space for this, but there's spare ways there already. And what's, uh, so explain to me why that's a, um, obviously I'm a... Chelsea! 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 Steve did jag you as run for no one. Come on, the jags. Come on, you jags. Go on, the jags. Go on, the jags. Go on, the willows, jags. Yeah, nice one. Cheers, Good morning, Jackson. Sunday morning. So I'm just out uh, on that magic of Christmas. So uh, they're building the display here, like the shed and all that. So he wants that light fitting moved and that camera moved. Those sockets are going to stay there because there's going to be a meter behind them and they're uh, the 16 amp commander sockets from a different supplier. But these lights are fed from that socket there and where they're going to have the shed, they're going to have all display lights in there. So what we've done before, we left these calls because this was for actually COVID. It was like a, we could uh, limit the flow of uh, people coming in. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down. I've taken the fuse out, unplugged it and we're going to leave it over here so one it's all built we're probably going to move them and have them two one there and one there. quick tour so we've done this a couple of years ago it's absolutely stunning isn't it absolutely spotless so that's where it's fed from i'll show you all the switch gear that we've done so they're all getting set up to uh open and oh, we've never done that yet shop what we've done all in here the switch gear and all that, it's absolutely spotless. Yeah, it's a lovely job when we've done this. Me and Ollie done it about three, four, no, it's four years ago. This is when Ollie first started. 
But yeah, and that's where that's more keys fed for now. Just quickly show you the calf that's uh, down there. Ah, oh, it's absolutely stunning. They are, all these are full of all freshly baked cakes. Ah, oh, me, me and Ollie, the lads love working down there. They have ginger cakes and their the hot chocolates or uh, marshmallows. It's absolutely stunning. I didn't actually wire most of this. We've done obviously the fire alarm. We've done the emergency lights. We added it to it because uh, we inherited all most of this. We obviously done most of the emergency lights and all that. We changed these fuse boards. We actually, actually had to get this done. Hold on, what's, what's playing up there? Sorry, I didn't realise. What is it? Is it that one there? That's doing it, yeah. So we changed all these boards because one of these is fed from that that three-phase board, which has got nice CBO, and that one it hasn't, that's a dual one. And they're the Santa's right, oh, sorry, I'll get back from them, but we changed them. Uh, I actually put a feature up on the up before, but yeah, they're absolutely shocking, but we've, uh, we've done all this. We've been improving it as it goes along. We've done all the mains and all that. Most of this has all been sorted. It right now it's absolutely stunning. I cannot wait for this to open. It is beautiful. They have sausage rolls and all sorts. It is stunning. I've had a load of these stickers made up, and unfortunately, the NIC bit has bled, so you can hardly read it. You know what I mean? It's like I know you're probably thinking, "Oh, come on, Willie, it's just hardly a big deal." But if you look, I've even now I'll put a picture up. I've even got stickers on the steps. I absolutely love it. You know what I mean? But I see what they say. Like I don't, you know. Obviously, I don't want them to redo them all because there's so many of them. There's it'd be a criminal, an absolute waste. <laughs> Monday morning, we're just testing this all here. We're just testing all that. It's smart, isn't it? A cycle place, I've done. Just done all them ones. Just got to do one down there. There's old FC, got FC and Lenny here with us. So, well, smart place, just outside uh, Old Welling. Didn't even know it was here, cycle. Oh, you're over here. I'm just over here. Got enough board, so Lennis. Just trying to get through it all, so. Enough of board over here. I feel well smart place. Got license bar and everything, kids, in it? Yeah. Oi, baby cakes. Yeah, and this is the other end. Perfect, yeah, go around them all, plug them all in, mate, yeah. So Len's just in the figure of eight, so yeah, go plug them all in, yeah. And then get the highest reading, mate, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, no aim still though, yeah? This little bad boy. Oi, oi. What a big bird. Yeah. You're a beauty, isn't you? Big horse, little pony. They're all going on up there, isn't it? That was lovely. Yes, yes, Ollie, with a fresh trim. Happy with the football as well. This is yeah. the first and only time we mentioned in the football this weekend. We yeah. It as much as we want. Nah, not if you want to uh, get dropped off somewhere in the middle of the country. I, I live minutes away. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said dropped <laughs> off. Anyway, yeah, we're just at this little extension uh, for MCS. It's going to be a little bed sit by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, G Man's here as well. We've got a light switch going on this wall here. We've got a new um, drill a row of holes down there so that we can get across everywhere. Fuse board going up here. Then we're going to go, there's a little kitchen kitchen area coming along like here. Um, here's the bedroom. And there's a little ensuite where the old uh, light is, lighting up the world. Um, in here we've got a centre pendant, probably a socket in each corner. Um, and a light switch on either side of the door, whichever way the door's opening. Um, so yeah, should be pretty decent. What'd you get up to at the weekend, Jay Man? Not really. Just sat around on the sofa, to be honest with you. Yeah. No shanties this week. No yeah, shanties, I'm afraid. Nah. Just a chilled one. What about you, Ollie? You're too happy this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, football, yeah. Just uh, drilling these holes out for the cable routes to get back. And this is how we normally do it, with uh, setting up the laser and a shit stick. 
um, so that we can get the exact uh, distance and measurements so that the cables pull through in a straight line, nice and easy, nice and neat. Ollie, Ollie, you're too happy this morning, so you're gonna have to do the old core roll out there, mate. Yeah, you're on core duty today, boy. Enjoy it. Yeah, that's solid brick outside. It's <laughs> impressive, no less. You alright? Look at you getting all excited. Why does he get all smiley? That ain't going on YouTube. That <laughs> ain't going on YouTube. Hey. A little test we're doing now for an old nebber of things. They've obviously extended it. A few things you can see. We can't obviously get into that. That's a bit awkward. But uh, everything's testing out right. Even the ring mains have finally, haven't they? Yeah, that's what they did. It's done, it's been done quite well. Bosh. 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 Tell us an interesting fact about the electrical industry. I don't know. Don't really know any interesting facts about the electrical industry. Well, tell me about Jeffrey Dahmer and why I'm scared. I haven't watched it yet. You tell um, me. Oh, I'm terrified. It's absolutely terrifying. I've only I watched the first two. I think it was. I was speaking to a guy in the barbers about it on Saturday, and he said it was good. Yeah. He actually he was telling me his um his his hobby is serial killers. I think it's mine. I know with Netflix. Right. I think Netflix itself. It must be very popular because it's yeah, all well, that's all the sun. They keep on doing it, at the moment, don't they? Yeah. Right, so we just, uh, for every uh, metallic light fitting, we run a one lead round. So explain why we do it that way, Ollie. We've got to swap the mega leads over because they don't fit, like, as you would expect it to work. It doesn't work like this for some reason. So you've got to swap the leads over. And it fits perfectly, yeah, doesn't it? it works perfectly. We thought it was all ruined when we first we yeah. first discovered it, didn't we? Yeah. I think it that socket and C test uh, plug top we have to do the same, don't we? Yeah, that works. Right, so we just go around and one lead and more. Observation we just picked up on using the one lead, the uh, this light fitting one enough. So just here uh, done at uh, Magic Christmas. I'm here with Ollie. We've moved that camera to there so it faces inside. We've got these two lights moved over into the middle and then we've put them two Skarmore sockets. We've got to put a label on them, display lights only, because they're all on the plug top by Arctic Flex, going around the back, around the back there, and into that display spur. So all in all, quite nice, Ollie, isn't it? Yeah. I have to do that call out tomorrow. We were supposed to do a call out that I totally forgot about. But hey ho, it is what it is. Hi guys, just completed this first fix of this uh, little granny annex. Um, looking pretty good to be fair, gonna be decent. Got the old light switch and socket by the front door. TV and aerial there. Back to back with another TV and aerial in the bedroom. Got a light switch and thermostat. Then move round into the kitchen area. We got double socket, double socket. Then we got the two outlet plates for the hob and the uh, cooker, washing machine, socket there, all just clipped up and down light, down light, down light. This is where the isolators are going in the uh, in the cupboard once the kitchen's done. Um, then move round into the bedroom, socket there for the bedside cabinet. Yes, Leonard. Yeah. So yeah, been decent really. Little ensuite. So yeah. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, the morning of the AC Milan game. Just here, <laughs> just here with Lenny. We just make you good. This is a big old job. It's our Mark MCS. So what's going on there, Mark? What? So we, you want us to isolate all that? Yeah, we're going side, mate. So what's what's it, what's down that in then? Is that just, oh, so you're it's building going, on the drive then, are you? No, 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 the garage is going just as it is now. Oh, does that go past this bit then, does yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, bedroom and office back there. Yeah, so we're just making good. This looks like a full rewire, but apparently they've had, it's odd because they've had a loft conversion, haven't they? <laughs> oh, no, I just hit you then. Yeah, because they've got this ball, so they've obviously allowed 
So that's enough, there should be enough capacity on that for all the other gear. So they've well, obviously, yeah. yeah. Someone must have done it. And I'll strip out down here as well, yeah? Yes, mate, isolate with that. Slow. That's a new alleyway. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, in case. No, it's a nice one. MCS is no supervisor. MCS till I die. Yes. yes <laughs> nice looking really? band as well, isn't it? Huh? Nice looking band as well, isn't it? Yeah, that band's smart, mate. So basically, they're not using downstairs, so we're going to strip out everything, all the lights and all that. I'm going to have to chat with them. There is a uh, light that goes up to there. That, that still works. What I seem to have figured out is it looks like they've wired the loft and wired the feeds for the uh, upstairs, but they've left all the switch lines in, so I think we're just going to have to wire the sockets and the switch lines in some of the rooms and then all down here. But it's having a utility bedrooms, all sorts, isn't it? Big old gas, isn't it? I love the old gas. Lot going on. Don't swear, guys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, geez, I'm the editing catch up into the world, guys. I'm just me, me, me. me. <laughs> You've just been going, Chelsea, Chelsea. One of Chelsea's biggest fans, look. I'm surprised Dale and I should cover that up. What that is that all first? about, guys? Right, so that's the all stripped out. So that's that forward stripped out. So what we've done in here is we've got all that. The old screw for the Henny block has fallen down there, so I've taped that up, even though I did get a screw in there. And we've got this set up here for them. So all in all, all stripped out onto the next cooler. So that's the board that they've got for the landlord. So that's, that's, that's an old girl. It's a new one, but it's an old girl. So. We'll have a little look into that next time we're here. Well, I think we're first fixing it in a week or two. Hi hey, Wally. You alright? Yeah. What are you up to? Yeah, just got to cut out some down lights. So yeah, that's what Ollie that's what Ollie's doing. Lenny's there as well. Peek your head through the window, Len, come on, say hello. Yes, boy. Yeah, I'm just uh, installing this fuse board in this little pantry area around the corner here. So yeah, I've just got the board mounted. Cables come straight back entry. We've got this big old armor to uh, cleat up and put in some trunk in, so it's not on show. Um, but yeah, obviously getting the cables in and board mounted is the the tough part. Then it's just stripping them. Getting them into the position that you want them in is the main focus, so that you uh, don't have to mess about too much getting the cables in position inside the board, so it's nice and neat. Um, and then yeah, there's a load of down lights to cut out, that's what the other boys are doing. So yeah, it should be a decent one, thank god it's Friday. Hey boys, what are you up to the weekend? Shagging? Football. Football, have you got Lenners? Wolves, Wolves at home. Yeah, hopefully the uh, Wolves win. Hey, Ollie. Sod the old blues. Yeah, this is the finished article of that fuse board I was talking about. Less the old uh, fire filling and stuff, but yeah, I'm putting on the um, buzz bar cover. Good morning, go. Friday morning. Me, Ebsy, here just doing a condition report. It's like. Uh, We've done quite a few up here recently, yeah, we? This is great Ashby, so this has got the split load. So you've got the full RCD there, and then you've got these circuits that are not on RCD protected. Obviously, you've got 50 mil or less um, RCD protections. Uh, also, the, one of these is gonna be for the upstairs, so that is actually checks if it's got supplementary bonding. It's always gonna be a C3. It's even a C3 not to have RCD protection for any of them just for uh, changing the lamps and that now. So also these look supported well enough. I'm happy with them. Got a little ice like there. I'll give you a quick tour. These houses are quite surprising because they look quite modern from outside Ebbs, don't they? But look, as, you can, as you can see, we can look. We're obviously gonna pull that oven forward as well, Ebbs. But look, that's a highlight. That's enough a highlight thing to look for as well where that's got USB socket because obviously they're USB sockets have probably only been around for what, five, ten, five years? If that, obviously you've got the plug top there, that looks like it's an outside light, so we'll look into that. I watched a good video by uh, Mark Ellison last night on Apprentice One to One, and he done a little tour of his. I'll, I'll link the video above. It's, uh, it's always good to see other people. So, one thing I did miss is, so uh, this is one of the bathrooms ever. 
have a master bathroom and then they have an ensuite. We have to check to see if there's any supplementary bonding. Oh, that doesn't appear to be. It's very similar. It would have been the same developers. It's the same layout and everything, but that must be a switch for the loft. So them smoke alarms are definitely going to be out of date. That's within 300. I, I, as I've said before in my other videos, I do put that down as further investigation because obviously we install uh, we install ACO smoke alarms and all that, and they always say that if they should be replaced uh, within five years. And plus, the one downstairs, which I'll quickly show you, isn't the same, so I don't know if they're compatible. That must be for the heater. No. What's that switch from then? Oh. It's a bit odd, isn't it? I have to look into that, I don't know, because if uh, that's right, where's that spare spurred down from? Well, we'll have a little look into that. That might actually be something like uh, an alarm or something like that. So I used to love all that sort of jazz. I think it was Crowd who made all these houses. There's enough one there. I'll have to have a look into that, see what that's all about. Right, other than that, it all looks a bit all undamaged. Downstairs there is a couple of uh, metallic light fittings, so obviously we're going to wonder lead them. But all in all, looks pretty good. We've got this, so then we've got a couple of little jobs to finish this afternoon, which I'll show you. I've started to, because Lenny's with us full time now, I've started to have office days on a Thursday, so we're going to have to start recording on a Friday for the same week. Did you find all the, uh, did you find the water and the gas, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I found it. All good, yeah? Oh sweet, this should be a nice one. The uh, smokes are all different, a different manufacturers, so we have to look to see if, they, if they're bailing out. Never seen one like this before. Well, they're, they're interlinked, but I think we'll still go down this further investigation. It'll be interesting to know. What's up? I think for now. What? Loads of dust and all that for now. Yeah, look, the buzz bar cover's fall, falling out as well. Be careful, make sure we turn that all off first, yeah? Safe isolation. <laughs> Safe isolation across the nation. Well, well, observation we just picked up on using the one to lead, the uh, this light fitting one enough. So that's one of the reasons you do it. Is uh, also we have actually moved that over that as well. That so it is RCD protected, and it is a plastic consumer and it fits in underneath a wooden staircase. Even though there is no thermal damage, but it will still be put down as a C3. A nice little find. So this light switch is uh, fed off uh, that ring main, which is a flexible cable one mil. So obviously uh, that is off a of B32 and breaker. So we're going to take all that down because obviously this is a sale of a property. So we just want to get it set to that tree for the woman. Right, so we're just back at this little job. This is uh, Reese done the remedials here yesterday. So he added a couple of RCBOs here. We changed that light fit in there. And also we rewired that shed there as well, which I'll show you in a minute. And then we changed these to batten holders and that to a, just an LED one. All it is is just that, you, you know, the customers had their own light fittings and it's just the run for make it awkward. We just put, put the standard ones in there and all that and so we just cleared up most of the sea freezer still still plastic consuming consuming it with uh, underneath a wooden staircase but there's still only a sea free no, i don't really see the point of changing that fuse board just now there's no real harm and i'll just show you so this bit out here was a bit rough as well so they've done that ebbs is just changing the lamp so we're just doing that reese was here to about r5 yesterday so i said oh we'll just come up and test it for you so that was just on the pvc pvc twin and earth and it was just clipped along there we wouldn't normally clip along the uh the fence but this is actually in the state so it's uh it's only it's ne never all these buildings are only ever going to be owned by these people so reese done all that yesterday done a nice neat job of all this so that's for an outside right and just got a double socket there we've obviously used the uh knuckle dusters in there to earth the cables and all that but yeah so as i say i would never use the uh never use the uh clip it along the fence but where it would only be the estate that changes it and then obviously got a sensor light there as well 
sure that's a sensor light. Is that a sensor light? It's a sensor light, but it's not. It's on that light switch there, which is very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. So we just need to test these circuits and we've got to do them down like so. So we're literally just signing it off now and uh, Ebsy's just got to put a bit of band in for a premature collapse along there. Reese ran out of it yesterday, he knew, he told me anyway, so I know about it. We've just done the lamps and then uh, we've just got to do that one. Yes, yes, look at that. Yes, yes. Look at the picture of quality on that. No, it's, it's the intro to the video, this week's video. I'm oh, doing. Go on. Good evening, fellow. <laughs> Oh, it's a nightmare. I do this every every video. Um, in tonight's... Um, good evening, fellow Groove Riders. Will from Will's Electrical Services. Welcome back to another video in tonight's video of... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> right, so we're just back at this job. This is where I'd done the uh, intro for the, the uh, video the other week. What the problem was, the only lighting that was originally in it was them five amp these five amps here which like these look like car chargers don't they so what we've done is we've managed to get eight down lights in this bit and six in the kitchen so hopefully this will improve the lighting because all they had as i said is five up there five up there joe and uh ebsy wired these yesterday didn't you mate yeah oh done so we're gonna hopefully second fix them there's a security light and a couple of other bits but we might have to come back next week we might even have a review afterwards Oh, you yeah, make me! Before we get cracked into it too much, I always prefer can of lamps. I don't really see the point of in, in, integrated, even though one of our builders likes the integrated lights, but I just don't see the point of them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to strip them all down, get them unboxed. Epsi's going to bang them all up and uh, we go from there. But you don't really often see me do second fix, do you, Epsi? Because no. I don't like it. Don't I'm the first fix, and, first fix and testing champion of the world. So Ebsy's just connected up this down like that's one of the downsides of these Aurora. These uh, they don't have the Lenel, they, yeah. so they've just got their live ne live neutral and earth. So you've got to uh, one of them you got to cross over, haven't you? Yeah, that's no problem with these ones. They've just changed the design of these as well. So what do you not like? What's in the way? That these bits there. Why do they get in the way? So when, you, when you're trying to do that, like just, just catch, and you just can't actually get your fingers yeah, deep in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, they are a bit painful, aren't they? For old ones, it was just flat all the way, so you could have it. Yeah, I don't really know why they did change that, because they weren't really a problem yeah. with them, was there? They do come out like that, they do come forward, but it's just, it's just too yeah, fiddly, it's isn't it? Painful, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice one. I think you can agree that just definitely makes it a lot better. Obviously, it's getting got a bit later, so obviously the sun's gone down, but yeah, it's a lot nicer, isn't it? A lot better. So as I say, just the dim five amps there, which is still in play. It's just that we've left them up there. They're, they're not really the the car charging ones. And then these ones here, it's a lot better. So all, all they had was that little T-bar there, which obviously we've taken out because it's just a nightmare. I should imagine anyone with any decent height, but look, it's absolutely gorgeous now. It looks really nice. Well, that's us done for another week. Thanks for watching. Um, Chelsea got Wolves tomorrow at home, so I'll be up there watching Diego Costa. We're looking for it. And don't forget, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything, then be electric. Up the old blues. You know, Willie!